Hello YouTube, welcome to another uh, fishing talk show. I'm your host, Robert Moss. Alright, so today's uh, topic is going to be about bait and tackle. Um, I covered a lot of some of the baits that I started using in my channel Catfish 1. And I will post a link to that in the description below. Let's get started. Okay, so uh, talking about baits. Um, the most common baits that I like to use uh, are worms, night crawlers, and I usually get those from Walmart. And um, I'm doing this one in my living room of my house, so if you happen to hear my son Garrett in the background, he's just going to be running around playing. So um, let's get get back on the topic here. Okay, so um, another interesting thing about baits that I wanted to bring up is my father-in-law. Now, he will bring out his whole arson on a one fishing trip. He, I've never seen a, a man so dedicated in trying something new, and I think that is totally awesome. Uh, one minute, you'll see him using a hot dog with a night crawler, and then another time, like, Ten minutes later, you see him throwing on a piece of chicken gizzard. Then, ten minutes later, you see him throwing on something else. And, and then ten minutes later, trying something else. So he tries so many baits, leave it out there for ten minutes. He goes after catfish like I do. And, uh, believe it or not, he, he's been very successful on his bait uh, uh, experiments. So, um, I... Definitely going to try to get him next year to do uh, some bait offs with me because, boy, he's got a lot of bait to, that he could use. So, uh, other baits that I am um, using too is uh, the Teen Catfish baits, as you can see in some of my videos, the Teen Catfish baits of worked really great for me um they're always gonna be with me all the time so uh, i didn't really have this uh show really planned out very well so just bear with me with the i didn't have it really organized this time but i really want now that i have the time to make it i wanted to hurry and start making it so i can get it out for january uh, I hope everyone had a great Christmas and a, a great New Year's. Um, so, getting back on topic here. Um, fly fishing. Now, why am I bringing fly fishing into a bait? Uh, one is because, uh, you know, that's a lure-based bait. You know, flies. So, I would... I'm definitely going to try doing some of that this year, this season. Hopefully you guys can see me wading in the river. I'm hoping to see what Christmas turns out. See if I have uh, enough money to get me a, a fly fishing kit. I really would like to get out there and do some of that. Alright, so let's go. I'm going to post a flashback of a video on my thing of it was me and my father-in-law in uh at Decker Lake and um I'm going to give you guys uh you'll be seeing the video uh coming on really shortly but the video that I'm going to put on here is my father-in-law you'll see me going over there talking to him and you could just a perfect example of what he does um putting uh, you know trying different baits and all that so you'll see me talking to him and then oh <laughs> you see me hurry and turn around because I keep a bobber on my fishing pole on lakes because it, usually it's so windy out at a lake so I like to have a bobber on my line so it indicates when I'm getting a strike so uh, but as you can see that he was uh, using I wanted to say that was chicken liver, 
but I I can't be too sure on that. But he was using some kind of a a meaty bait, and then using some uh, catfish gravy, if you will, uh, attraction on that. So that was a uh, a good example of what he does, and I think that's great. I think that is really great that he tries so many things. He's actually come up with his own concoctions. He will mix stuff up, and then we'll take it out and give it a try. Um, I was really hoping to have him on this show for this segment, especially for Bates. But um, he's really busy on you know right now, and everyone's really busy. And I really wanted to get on these shows, so. That's why I'm doing a bunch of solos. Um, but that's okay. You know, I I enjoy making YouTube videos. I enjoy uh, doing these fishing talk shows. So, yeah. Okay, so now I get back on debate. Uh... One thing I am going to try very hard doing this year is always, every time I go out fishing, always using two different baits. That's going to be my goal this year. I'm always going to run Team Catfish, but I always want to come up with every outing. I want to have something new. I, w I want one all my fishing videos this year, I want them to be kind of a bait off. Even though if they're repeats, you know, maybe I'll run Sun Impact. And uh, night crawlers. Maybe I'll do that like the whole season. You, you know, you never know. But I always want to get two baits in the water. And you can never go wrong with night crawlers. Night crawlers, you can catch everything catfish, bluegill, trout. I mean, you never know what's going to be biting on a night crawler. That's just one thing that's so awesome about night crawlers. Once again, I want to like to apologize for this show not being completely organized. Hopefully, you guys aren't falling asleep listening to me talk. Uh, hopefully, the video clips that I put on uh, make up for that. So, um, let's see what else can I say about night crawlers. Oh, here's another thing I would like to say about night crawlers. Um, have you guys ever heard of ejecting your night crawlers? I've actually seen some tools that you could use that it, it sticks into the night crawler and you can inject it with stuff. I don't know if that works, and I don't even know what you would inject it with. So, uh, post a comment on that. And uh, also, Muddy River Catfishing. That guy, if you have not subscribed to him, you need to do that right away. Um, I will post a link to his, uh, channel in the description below, but yeah, he makes this thing, it's called, what he calls, uh, chicken liver chum, I think is what he calls it, but he actually has a video on, he shares how he makes it, so I am going to try to make that this year. And have that go up against the team catfish baits. I think that will be really fun. Um, getting down to a like uh, minute left of this video. These videos are only 10 minutes long. So yeah, definitely get back with me the, in the ejection of worms. Uh, I have seen a tool. And I went up to the counter at the fishing game place. And they said, oh yeah, that's used for injection to inject worms. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass there. Who knows? <laughs> but, uh, anyways, I really do appreciate all my subscribers out there. Um, I am planning on doing a lot of fishing this summer, and hopefully I will have a pole in my son's hands this year. He's going to be one. He'll be two in July. So, hopefully I can take him out for just a little while. I don't know uh, how that will go. He, you know, he's still at that age where he likes to run around and stuff like that, so. Anyways, YouTube, like if you like, subscribe if you want to. Uh, I'll be doing these shows until March. Alright, have a good one.